I want to move on to something that at first blush may not seem health related, uh, but it's been in the news and in many ways it is something that could affect you because earlier this week Kim Kardashian was bound and gagged while being robbed. Obviously what makes this story different is it was over $10 million worth of jewelry that was taken. That's some bling right there. That's, yeah, that's more bling than most of us have. But the methods were pretty, pretty outlandish. Reportedly, a group of men dressed as police threatened the concierge to be let into the private residence. This was being rented uh, during your stay in Paris during Fashion Week, held at gunpoint, bound, mouth tape, and put in the bathtub, again, all by report. But it highlights some things that, that we first wanted to touch upon, which is... We always say safety first. Absolutely, and and here we the take home from the doctors is going to be travel safe. You know, think outside the box when you're abroad, and and a and lot of it is common sense. But don't I mean this was the one that really made me. I had trouble with this broadcast showing off things like the ring on Instagram in Paris. You're you're really begging people if you're telling them where you are. You don't have to be famous. You know, with social media, you can be anyone and say, "Look at this brand new beautiful diamond ring I have the, while we're vacationing here in Paris." There are places in the world where they see that they'll cut your hand off to get that ring. I mean, they really will. They'll come in with, and they won't ask any questions. I mean, you are really putting yourself in harm's way, showing off your bling like that, and then broadcasting where you're going to be later on and and I think there's a lesson to learn for all of us I mean we're not in a position like that but when you travel travel safe try to be more understated you know leave leave the bling at home it's also to me when I first heard the story it's one of those be careful what you wish for in life because yeah you can have all the money in the world but with that money can come problems nothing is worth losing your life over and it sounds if as reported this is what happened Th this could have ended badly, and I think we can all learn something from this. And I want to bring uh, into the conversation someone who can help us better understand how this happened and how you can protect yourself. We're joined on the phone by security expert Paul Violas. And Paul, thanks for being with us. How, number one, how could this have happened? But but also then we're going to branch off and talk about how we can prevent this from ever happening to us, even if even if we don't, you know, all walk around with ten million dollars worth of jewelry. Absolutely. Well, good morning, and thank you. It's a pleasure to join you both. Uh, well, an answer to your question, I think it's pretty simple. There's only really one or two options. Uh, either one, this is an inside job, or two, it's an example of blatant incompetence on part of the security, which is no question about that, and I'll explain. When, whenever a, a true professional security firm, and I say true professional security firm, is going to protect a principal, you never leave the principal alone. That's a fact, which begs the question, what was his security plan when he was traveling to Paris? How did he plan on advancing this trip? How was he planning for her appearances? What were his contingency plans? And also, we have to remember, he was responsible and accountable for protecting the jewelry that was on loan. And I think this is also a blatant example of, of you know, Hollywood security at its best. And I say that tongue in cheek. Then you also look at, is it an inside job? Which we have to, you know, we have to look at this. Who knew where she was staying? And why did these guys, these alleged guys, pick this particular time to go to that house? And there's a lot of questions and there are very few answers. And when you say Hollywood security, are you alluding to the idea of, hey, it may be a big show of security or force? Because anytime I, I see a, a Hollywood uh, security personnel, they tend to be really, really big people. Right. More like a bouncer. And that's not to imply that that doesn't mean they can't be wonderful security experts, but is it more, in your opinion, sometimes for show than... It is, Doc, there's absolutely no question. You, you've just hit, the, you've hit it right on the head right there. You know, when I say Hollywood security, you have to understand that in, in, Hollywood really lives and breathes for the showcase, and, and security in Hollywood is, is no exception to that. And most of the firms that I've had interaction with, and, and, and I try to avoid them as much as possible, are willing to do and say just about anything as long as they can serve an entertainer. And I mean anything. And that doesn't even, and that crosses illegal lines. So if a principal were to say, look, I'm going to Paris, and I'm going to go with three or four people, and you're going to bring one person, you know, there's a problem.